Welcome to Access Security's video series. In this series, we're going to be discussing Brevo's Access Control System. And in this video, we'll be looking at adding a card to the system. First, we're going to go to our main login page. We can use, you can see here, we're using Mozilla Firefox, but you can also use Internet Explorer or Apple Safari, whichever browser product you feel most comfortable with. Here, we're going to be at our login tab. We're going to use our username and our password to log into the system and then click the login button. Here we're going to be at our home page. It's going to welcome us to the system and give us some general overview of the system parameters. We're going to be focusing in on today on the cards tab. So we're going to click on cards. First thing we have to do is we have to add the card that we're going to be assigning to a user to the system. So we're going to click add cards. This information here should be supplied by your access control provider or whoever you got purchased your cards from. In this particular example, we're using a standard 26-bit card. We're enrolling one card, so the first and the last number will be the same. The card number that I'm currently working with is 14. For our demo here, the internal and the external numbers are the same. And our facility code is 1. Again, all that information can be provided to you by your access control provider. And then we click Add Cards. It's going to ask you to please confirm the information right here, and it also has the total cards that are going to be enrolled, and that's one, which is correct. I'm going to click the OK button. It's going to confirm that it's done, that it's added one card to the card bank. I'm going to come here and click Card Bank, which is going to show us that that card has been entered into the system. It's currently unassigned, and we want to assign that to a user. We're going to click the Assign button. We're going to come over here, and we're going to enroll John Smith into the system typing in his first and last name. It's already added the card for us. We can select a active date, which is currently today, but it could always also be some day in the future. And we can also have an expiration date. The badge image would be as if you're using photo IDs on the cards, or you can also just use the badge image if you just want to keep a record of what the card holder looks like. Down here we have our groups. This is going to assign the access control rights of the card to the user. For this particular example, we're going to use the always all doors. John Smith can come in through any of the doors in the system. We scroll down here and we're going to click on add user. We've now enrolled John Smith into the system and he's currently an active user. We're going to go over to the activity and you can see here that John Smith has presented a card to the system, to the sales demo system and was granted access through the test access door. That completes our overview of adding a card to the Brevo access control system.